Hello everybody, welcome back to a bite-sized review. Today we'll be taking a look at one of my favorite animated series. This is The Batman from 2004. First came out in that year. It uh, aired its final episode in 2008, I believe. And this is the Batman show that I watched as a kid. And um, I understand that it's, you know, sandwiched between Batman the Animated Series, which is the big 90s show, uh, the Legendary Series. I have not personally seen it, but I can respect it. Um, and also, it, uh, another show came out after it, Batman Beyond, which people love that one as well. Um, those two shows get a lot of recognition. The Batman doesn't really get that much love, at least in recent years. It's kind of like the forgotten uh, Batman uh, series, which is kind of a shame because a lot of this series is fantastic. You've got great voice actors like Ron Perlman voices Killer Croc. You've got um, you've got Tom Kenny as the as the Penguin. You have Kevin Michael Richardson as the Joker. We've got Adam West and Robert Englund show up. We've got of course Reno Romano as this version of the Batman. Um, there's a lot of great actors and, and just characters in this show. Um, they're very different versions of, you know, someone like the Joker, someone like Robin, or, you know, Poison Ivy, or Batgirl, um, or even Superman. So it's a different version um, of each character. I like that. Um, unfortunately, I've never seen the Batman the Animated Series, the one that everyone loves, so I will not be commenting on that. I have no experience with that one. I might watch a few episodes. Um, who knows? But we're talking about this version. Um, I love the character design, first of all, of this show. It's a very action-packed show, but it also has a lot of character moments. Specifically, I think the biggest, like, character rela relationship, um, is between Bruce Wayne and and um ethan bennett who is this kind of nypd or not i'm sorry gotham gotham uh detective and he's kind of hired to take down the batman and along with detective ellen yin who is also a new character she's a new character for this series i believe both of them are which is cool that you know we have some new faces to join the batman mythos um and so they're both, uh, you know, trying to take down the Batman. And and so Ethan actually ends up figuring out who the Batman is. And so that kind of leads into this whole thing where he turns into Clayface. And then that makes it personal with Batman and Clayface. This version of Clayface, I think, is probably the coolest version, in my opinion. He's got, like, the coolest story and, like, the most tragic background. And I, the design is fantastic. Um, I just wanted to briefly talk about that because I thought that was really, really cool with this show. Um, uh, I really like Reno Romano as the Batman. Um, he's a Canadian actor. He's done so many, so many things. Um, but I think this version of the Batman is my favorite in terms of like the animated version. I know, I know there's so many other versions. Um, and, uh, honestly, this is the one that I grew up with. So there's a little bit of bias, but I just think he's the coolest version um, other than Michael Keaton, who is my favorite Batman, just in general, I think this one has to take the second place. Um, I just like the way his voice, he changes his voice subtly, kind of like Keaton does. And as Bruce Wayne, he's also very, you know, confident. This Batman is much younger than the other versions of him in the other series. Because he's in his 20s, early 20s in this series. Uh, he's about 24, 25 when the first episode starts. Um, the Bat and the Belfry, that's uh, episode one. And so we see a much younger Batman. This kind of gives the show an advantage because you get to see it origins with most of his, um, you know, his old enemies like the Riddler or Poison Ivy or Bane um, and the Joker, of course. So um, it's kind of cool that we get to see some origin stories for this version. And um, they're much younger as well. Uh, I probably, except for the Penguin, he's still middle-aged, but the rest of the cast are pretty young, which is cool, and I like Catwoman as well. She gets some, a couple of great episodes. Um, I also like the fact that there are some kind of one-off characters, like there's this, um, there's one called Clue Master, who's a cool villain. Uh, we also have, um, oh, I'm trying to remember the, uh, the name of one of them. He's like this, uh, this um not scarecrow he's not in here sadly um you know i'll i'll get to it in another video 
Um, but there's some other ones too, like uh, Gear or yeah, Gearhead. It's like this car enthusiast. He's kind of cool. And um, we also have Firefly, who's probably one of my favorite characters. Um, and yeah, there's just a lot of great uh, character designs. I think Jeff Matsuda is the main character designer. And he also worked on Teen Titans, which is from the same era. Actually, Teen Titans came out, um, I believe it came out the year after. So 2004. I definitely could uh, be a bit off on that. But yeah. Um, and so, or no, Teen Titans came out the year earlier. Sorry. Uh, anyway, um, also speaking of that, I do want to mention something. There is a fan theory that says that this show, this version of Batman, and the Teen Titans, the original series from 2003, they say that that show and this show are connected somehow because they have the same character artist, um, some similar stories. And, uh, yeah, and the versions of Robin in these shows are extremely similar. I personally think that they are in the same universe. It's not hard to see that they could be. They're not officially, you know, in the same world. But whatever. I like to think that they are. So, yeah. I won't open up that can of worms. But anyway, uh, I just think that's a cool, cool uh, fan theory. I really like this version of Batman. I like. I love the design. I love the... The design of, of Bruce Wayne and it's cool that this version of Batman his design kind of subtly changes so in season one he's kind of pointy like the sharp edges are very apparent in the early early episodes slowly you'll know you may notice um this show has four seasons I believe yeah or no five four or five I can't I don't oh no it has five sorry my bad I did research I promise um so this show has five seasons and in the fifth season batman looks a lot more mature like he looks a lot more like correct in his proportions um i just want to say that also i did really like this origin of harley quinn in the show i really like this version she's not in a ton of episodes i think she's only in three but her origin is really cool she's like a talk show host that gets rejected and she decides to join the joker and uh yeah, that's that's that. Um, I also love the music. The music is fantastic in the series, uh, especially the opening theme for seasons one through three. I believe it's composed by The Edge. I could be getting that mixed up. Um, I don't remember who did the theme for the for seasons four and five. It's a different theme. It's like a more edgy metal theme, which I also really love. Uh, I'm not a fan of, of of metal, like heavy metal or rock. But that theme is great. Um, I also love the Batmobile in this design. Like, I love all the Bat vehicles. But this version of the Batmobile, specifically in seasons one through four. I think, no, I'm sorry. Seasons one to three. This version of the Batmobile is almost like this super powered, like, almost jet fueled muscle car kind of thing. Like a sport, not a muscle car, a sports car. It's really cool. I love that. Um, I love the sound design. That's really great. The music is incredible. Um, I love the, how fast-paced the action is. Um, and I also really like the fact that, unlike most Batman series, they introduce Batgirl before they introduce Robin, which I think is really cool. Um, and uh, I, I just think that's really cool. I love the design of Batgirl and, and uh, Robin. Um I love the celebrity cameos. That is great. Um, you'll recognize the voices when you hear them if you decide to watch this show. Um, you can find this show individually. Um, like you can find the DVD, like a season, I guess season box sets. Or not box sets, I guess the season one DVDs. You can find them individually. I think that's what I'm going to do. They did recently release, uh, Warner Brothers released a the Batman full series on Blu-ray. I was tempted to get that. I think I'll just get the individual seasons instead. Um, um, but yeah, you can get them individually or you can go on HBO Max and you can stream the entire series there, uh, which is nice. And so I just, I think this is a great show. I love just everything about it. I, I love the stories. Uh, the villains are, you know, they may look different, but honestly, if you give them a chance, it's, it's you'll get used to them. Um, one thing I find funny is that everyone in this universe somehow knows kung fu or 
like martial arts or jujitsu or whatever kind of like just like uh martial arts everyone knows it like everyone can kick everyone's butt it's kind of crazy <laughs> even the penguin who's like acrophatic he's he's not a he's not a fighter but i just think that was cool um i love the voice cast um yeah it's a great show um i recently i recently rewatched a lot of the episodes i haven't finished it finished rewatching them i think i will soon um i love this series it still holds up i watched a lot of it as a kid and i loved it then i think i love it more now because i get a lot of the stories there are some um more serious storylines and stuff and some great character moments in between the action which is great and i just think it's a great series i i don't i just don't know why it's so overlooked i guess it's you know again batman beyond um there are so many batman animated series but i think this is one of the better ones especially if you grew up in this era of early 2000s dc where they were cranking out hit after hit after hit like you know young justice um the justice league unlimited series you know batman beyond uh, the animated series obviously and then this which i think is great and then teen titans of course the original um so i love this series i i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 i have nothing really bad to say about this show um i just i love it i love every episode i love every character and design and everything it's just I don't know. I, I loved it when I was a kid. I'm glad I revisited it. And I don't know. I just can't say anything bad about it. So honestly, The Batman, under, underrated show, overlooked show, um, underappreciated for sure, uh, especially compared to, the, to all the other ones. Um, so I just, I love this. I love this show. It's, it's so great. Um, I will be reviewing my favorite episodes. I'm not going to review every single one, but I will review at least my top 10. So look for videos for that. I might do a, a character analysis for a few of them from this show. And I will also touch on the theory uh, between this show and Teen Titans. So look for that. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stick around for more animated series reviews. I'll, I'll have some more out for you in the coming weeks. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. And have a great rest of your day.